So let's go ahead and look at the calculation of excess reactant available after a reaction has occurred. Um, as we've already discussed, your limiting reactant is the reactant that gets used up first in the chemical reaction, and it dictates the amount of products um, that you can theoretically obtain. The excess reactant is the reactant that is left over or remains after the reaction has reached completion. Much like many of the other calculations that you've done, the limiting reactant is still going to be the determining factor for um, the calculation of excess uh, reactant remaining after the reaction. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our limiting reactant, okay, and we are going to convert it into moles using our molar mass. We're then going to use the mole ratio between our limiting reactant and our excess reactant to calculate the moles of excess reactant. Now, at this point in this step, you have calculated the moles of excess reactant that have been used. Okay, so it's very important to point out, at this point in the calculation, you have calculated how much excess reactant has been used. Now, um, you're then going to, you know, convert the amount of excess reactant um, into grams using the molar mass of the grams. Okay, and this is the quantity in grams of excess reactant that has been used um, based off of the amount of limiting reactant that you have started with. Okay, now, in order to figure out the amount of excess reactant that remains, okay, so basically your leftovers, okay, you are going to take um, the original amount of excess reactant and subtract out the used excess reactant, okay, and this is going to give us our leftovers, okay, so basically um, you can figure out how much excess reactant gets used by the steps um, that you see here and here, okay, and uh, you can figure out how much excess reactant um, is left over uh, by taking the quantity that was used um, and subtracting it from the original amount. Okay, so basically uh, your calculation will look like this. You're going to take your grams of limiting reactant and you're going to use the mol molar mass of limiting reactant to get into moles of limiting reactant. Okay, and then you're going to use the mole ratio from the balanced equation between your excess reactant and your limiting reactant. Okay, and at this point in this calculation, you have calculated how much um, excess reactant um, was used um, in moles. You can then um, take this a step further and figure out the excess amount of um, reactant in grams. Okay, so basically this whole calculation right here allows us to get our excess used. Um, and then again, we're going to take our original amount and subtract it from our excess reactant used. Okay, and this will give us our leftovers. Okay, so basically these are the steps you need to do or need to take in order to figure out your excess reactant. Um, very simple, make sure you're checking your units and making sure that everything matches whenever you're doing um, your dimensional analysis um, up here. Okay, and obviously whenever you're doing any of these subtraction um, procedures to figure out your leftovers, you wanna make sure that you are in the correct units. Um, so grams and grams or moles and moles, whatever you decide to do is acceptable. Um, just make sure that they match up appropriately.